That's the what does R stand for? Results. That's good. Reciprocity. I like that, but it's not right. Reciprocity. 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 No. Routine. Who said routine? There you Me. go, Alex. What is your routine, your daily routine? Can you block out 30 minutes, 15 minutes a day to make a few phone calls, to leave a few voicemails, to talk to a few people every day? Hey, I have an idea, a solution. Hey, I was just thinking, hey, uh, Bill Pinnell, I was just thinking about you the other day. And I had, I, I remember what we discussed a couple of weeks ago. I saved my note and I wanted to, I, I have a suggestion for you. Could you call me back today? 619-206-5960. Boom. If I send you that Zoom video in your email, is there an opportunity for us to speak again? And that's Definitely. all That's all you got to do. A little bit of that kind of marketing and give away things for free all the time. Okay. It's Oh, and I'll be talking about this when we get into our Zoom thing. Um, I always... I don't use the Zoom link. You guys know that, who are my students. I, I go into GoDaddy and for 10 bucks, whatever it costs... I got zoomclaw.com. People can remember that, but that long link that Zoom gives you, I I think it's uh, people lose it, they forget it. So make something. So I use Zoom as a marketing tool, as a communication tool. So I tell pe people all the time, hey, go just go to zoomclaw.com, and they can do it in their browser or they can do it on their dedicated um, uh, their application. Uh, for the Zoom app. And, and since the pandemic, does everybody have Zoom now? Okay. Everybody, I use that as a marketing tool. The value of face-to-face, -face, we will be talking about that. Um, so Frank, I, go ahead. Can I interject something, Claude? Absolutely. I'll tell you, I I, I struggle with that because I, I don't want to FaceTime or Zoom uh, people. I'd rather just get them on the phone. But... I want to, I want to, I want to like concrete what you're saying here. When I get people on Zoom, I have not tracked this very long. Um, so I don't have data. This is total drama, but I promise you, I close more, more often and, and more and, and get more business because we're looking at, I'm looking them in the eyes. They're on their best behavior. I don't hear them fiddling around. I've heard people doing stuff in the background. So it's like, let's just jump on Zoom um, and they'll, they will pay attention to what you're saying. Um, we added another another private client last week. Good, like big paying client uh, that I looked him and his wife in the eyes one night over Zoom. And we had a follow up. And again, the Zoom, I don't think that deal would have happened if it wasn't for his wife being on that Zoom with him. Yeah, it would have yeah, happened. Yeah, it, it just... It just changes the whole environment. I'm going to be on a soap. I had three closings last week. Okay. Um, three sales, three new clients. Um, and I'm going to sound like a jerk here a little bit. Uh, more money than I used to make in a whole year, I can make in a week. And I owe it a lot to using a, a, a sales system that's question-based, that's interactive with another human being. Okay, it's it's mutually beneficial, and having that video, that face to face, you, that what you were just talking about so well. Okay, I think it adds a dimension. Are we a little self conscious sometimes? Do we have to put on a nicer shirt, clean our hair, and make sure the dog and the baby and the Jamaican steel drum band are not in the same room? Sure, it's a little bit of work. But tell me how what a is this the most brilliant environment one on one or even for group training? Is this the most in brilliant environment? I mean, how many people remember getting in cars, going on airplanes, going to um, uh, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Palace to meet people who were 20 minutes late, uh, driving in traffic? Who remembers? Do you guys remember all that garbage? Yeah. You used to go to a house and the lights would turn off. Yeah. Knock on the door. 